I really wish I had some chocolate cake. I'm in a pickle. Which way do we go? Hello and welcome to the October edition of Today from the Heart. I'm Claire. And I'm Torn. And we're broadcasting from the David J. Bloom Broadcast Suite. We are so excited to be your anchors for this year. This month's episode features everything from an introduction to our new Student Athletic Advisory Committee to a look into this year's Senior Day. Let's start off with some trivia on our new faculty. I know the answer. Same. Miss Harrison! Miss Harrison! Okay. Woo! Death, Mr. Verge. An elf? Who would you think? Miss Harris. I'm gonna say Mr. Verge. Mr. Verge, yeah. Hmm. What's your name again? <laughs> the last one. No. Oh. Hi, I'm Mrs. Harrison. I teach math here in the upper school. Hello, I'm Mr. Verge. I'm the new upper school learning specialist here at Sacred Heart. Hi, I'm Miss Gatto or Miss Caro. I am one of two upper school learning specialists. I am an Adirondack 46er. That means I have climbed all 46 mountains over 4,000 feet in the Adirondacks. Uh, I went to Springfield College and Quinnipiac University. I coached um, college lacrosse there. I also played basketball and lacrosse at Springfield. I coached for four years for the men's lacrosse team. My fourth year teaching, I found out that you could be a Christmas elf at Macy's in Herald Square, so I did that for four seasons. I am a Disney fanatic as well. I go to Disney probably four times a year. I'm a vacation club member there and an annual pass holder. I started when I was 13 years old when I went to summer camp in the Adirondacks and it took me until I was 30 years old to finish. Um, and since then I've been exploring more of the Northeast and getting my sons hiking with me. It was a lot of long miles hiking through the mud and the rocks, um, but there were a lot of beautiful views along the way. Watch out girls, December's coming up. Miss Kara's gonna be watching for who's naughty or nice. Thank you, Claire and Maya. Up next, let's take a look into our very own Miss Kara Scarrow's new original song. Last year I was asked to co-chair the Arts Committee of the 50th anniversary of the Sacred Heart Goals and Criteria and the celebration of the Network of Sacred Heart Schools. And part of that committee was coming up with different arts related ideas to, to, to enhance the celebration. And one of the ideas was to create some sort of a commemorative song celebrating the Goals and Criteria. So that's how it came about. I think because the song really highlights the goals and each goal is in the song, in the lyrics of the song, I think that it's an easy way for students and children especially to really remember the goals in a tangible way. The most rewarding part of this process was bringing all of the girls in to do the recording. Um, it was a really special kind of celebration with girls from our school and girls from 91st Street and girls from the Stewart School in New Jersey. And they gave up a day, an afternoon during summer break, which was right before school started. And everybody came together and we rehearsed and we practiced a lot. And then we sang the song and recorded it. And it was really, really beautiful. I think all of the students at Sacred Heart are children of the Sacred Heart. And we're all trying to live out the goals and criteria of the school. So. I think that's what it means to be a child of the Sacred Heart. Wow, that was music to my ears. Thank you, Ainsley and Maeve. Next, this segment features a long-lasting Sacred Heart tradition, green and white inductions.
Once a year, students and faculty from all divisions gather for the induction ceremony. New students as well as faculty are assigned a school team, green or white. During the ceremony, students are called up by name, run down the aisle, and presented to the following team. This tradition has been in our Sacred Heart community for years. The teams compete throughout the year on Conge, Field Day, and other school events. The teams build school-wide spirit and a fun, competitive environment within the community. Having all the divisions come together builds so much school spirit and fun, and I cannot wait to create more fun games and activities in the future. Go Heart! Hey Claire, what team are you on? I'm on green. Um, I'm on white. Are we going to have a problem here, Torin? Nah, we're cool. Thank you, Morgan and Bobby. Speaking of athletics, why don't we check out Sacred Heart's new Student Athletic Advisory Committee. SAG is a student-run club sort of initiative that kind of wants to instill a culture of tradition among Sacred Heart student athletes. SAC was created to kind of hear the ideas and thoughts of athletes from Sacred Heart to help impact in a positive way the program. I wanted to be a part of SAC because coming into this athletic program as a freshman and making the teams, um, I think it was really important that I learned from the people ahead of me and I hope to have the same impact on the rising freshmen and even just this athletic program as a whole. I've been playing sports Sacred Heart since sixth grade. I think I just wanted to have a voice in the athletic program. So being on SAC meant that I could play at events and help student athletes throughout the whole year. I'm most excited about seeing the impact we make and helping all the athletes to come, especially 10th grade, but just the whole school. I'm excited just to interact with everyone. I think it's a really great opportunity for us as like girls at Sacred Heart to be able to come out and support sports games. I think we're really a talented program all around and I think it's really fun just for everyone to support each other. This year we're trying to get athletes more involved in the community, especially community service. We have a bunch of things coming up for SAC. We have homecoming, we have morning meeting games, raffles that you guys will get to see. I wanted to be part of SAC to help impact in a positive way the athletics. I feel like they've given me so much and I just help, wanted to help give back. I think one of the best feelings is when you're playing in a game and there's 25 of your best friends um, at the game and I think it just adds another drive factor and I think that's really important when we come up in like the FAA seasons and FSAC seasons um, for us just to have a crowd at every game. We cannot wait for this council to thrive over the next years. So stay tuned! Go, Go hard! hard. <laughs> I can't wait to see all that SAC does for our athletics program. Thank you Daphne and Megan. From Greenwich to Lourdes, let's flash back to this incredible summer trip. I decided to go to Lourdes because Kairos was a very uh, like transformative experience for me and it really helped me grow in my relationship with God and I think Lourdes was like the perfect opportunity to pursue that further. I had heard about Lourdes from the older girls who had gone on the pilgrimage last year during a chapel at school and I felt really inspired to also go on the trip and get closer to God. The main purpose is to help the assisted pilgrims in and out of the domain and like to church and stuff and if they want to get some coffee we go accompany with them. It's really just about building community and spending time with people who need it the most. As much as, as you think that you're going to help them, they are really helping you. The fact that they're coming year after year to this place and um, you know just seeking healing and seeking companionship. My, my favorite memory is probably the Grot Trots which is where you go to the grotto where Mary appeared to Bernadette. I think they start at like 11.30 at night and you kind of walk through the grotto and you can sit in silence and you can pray and it's overall very peaceful and very emotional so I really enjoyed it. I'm just always impressed with how our girls get up on time, they show up on time, they deal with like long days and it's just that it's a remarkable, it's a remarkable trip. Wow, I'll definitely be applying for that trip next summer. Thank you, Eva and Claire. All right, let's see how our seniors decked out the course center this year on Senior Day. I'm Annika, and I've been at Sacred Heart for 15 years. I'm Amy, and I've been at Sacred Heart for 13 years. I think I'm most excited to decorate my car. I'm really looking forward to taking pictures, uh, taking pictures with my friends and drawing on our cars and I know we're gonna make some really crazy designs and I'm excited for it. And I'm also really, really hyped to get my rugby. Such a fun tradition that I just can't wait for. I'm most looking forward to decorating my car on senior day and graduation. 
I'm also really excited to see the Core Center. I know the class moms have put in so much work and it's gonna be decked out and I can't wait to take pictures. My favorite memory is the first day of senior year when we walked into the Core Center and we had all of our baby pictures on our lockers and everything was like decorated pink. My favorite memory was our senior bonding trip the night before the first day of school because we all kind of gathered at the bus loop and reconnected with each other and then got to go to the Mets game and take pictures and have like a really fun time. So it was just a nice way to kick off senior year. I'm looking forward to having lasting memories with all of my friends, a lot of whom I've grown up with. And I'm really excited to see where each of us goes to college and kind of give each other a send off as we go on our own ways. Yeah, what do you hope to get out of this school year? Um, An a acceptance college. letter? <laughs> yeah. um. Wow, the Core Center looks so good. Thank you, Alex and Reese. Let's race into this next piece and see what our cross country team is up to. Okay, we're starting our warm up now. Why well, cross country? I'll tell you why. Because running is a lifetime sport, you'll have it forever. I'm getting really tired. I typically um, hold the back end of this group because I don't necessarily think running is my sport. Elle and I like to. Yeah, know. we take the run part of it as more advice. So, this is our cross country coach and the best person in the whole athletic department. This is Coach McCray. Hi, I'm Coach McCray. We got this, guys. It's not that bad. Just kidding. It's not bad. Running hard up the hill. Okay? We did half time to build up just like the regular course as if we're running on the course. And when you do this all the time, that's when I usually tell you. So we're supposed to sprint up this hill. I don't sprint up hills. Woo! How do we look? We like to take advantage of the downhill. It's pretty much the only time I run. Like when I run up these, I feel like I'm falling. <laughs> oh, here, still here. Are you doing anything after? <laughs> Charlie keeps coughing. That was not a good day. I can't. I quit. Thanks, Thanks for following along. Go, go cross, cross country. country! Thank you, Torn and Katie. Now, what we've all been waiting for, the hall pass. Yeah, I love about Sacred Heart is that like you meet some of the best girls here and you become friends forever. and you scared me. Thank you, Lila and Georgia. All right, well, that's a wrap. From, From our hearts to yours, yours thank, thank you for watching, watching Today from, from the Heart. heart.